going to show you a couple techniques here of uh, fabricating the foam in case you happen to have a tractor that we don't have a kit for or you want to do some additional foam inside your kit what we're going to show you is how to make a rolled edge or a finished edge this is in case this edge is exposed and you can see it it's a lot nicer to have it rolled over and what we would call rolled edge or finished edge than a rough appearance such as this where you just have an exposed foam edge so to get this edge what you need to do is remove some material and then glue this over and we're going to show you how to do that there's uh, several different knives you can use they just have to be extremely sharp a dull knife the foam will wad up and compress in front of the knife so you need to have a sharp knife um, I use a, a straight edge knife you can cut through pretty good here's a fillet knife use that also cut through the foam pretty easy you get right down to the vinyl without cutting through the vinyl you want to practice these techniques a little bit before you do your finished product a lot of people will use electric knives such as this so you cut right down to the vinyl and it's all done sort of by feel and then if you want to peel it off so several different ways to do that different applications different knives just uh, make sure you use something real really sharp a segmented knife such as this also works good you can tell this knife is considerably sharper makes the cut a lot easier than the, the other knives sort of like flaying a fish if you've ever done that you can just run those knives right along the edge you can feel that vinyl underneath there and follow the edge of the vinyl what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make this cuts on this particular piece of foam here to make that rolled edge and we've already made this cut I'm going to go ahead and fillet this piece off and that's the way you achieve that okay we'll show you the entire process on this one what you want to do is you want to have a a straight edge to follow this is a just a square piece of tubing here so we get a 90 degrees we can try to keep this this cut parallel to this surface instead of go off it at an angle like that or like this keep it 90 degrees to the surface drag it across there not too much pressure should be able to feel when you get to the bottom if you use too much pressure you'll cut through the vinyl like we use just the right amount of pressure we're down to the bottom with no cut through the vinyl we'll just fillet that off like a fish like I said key to this sharp knives you want to have a really sharp knife if you don't you're you're just gonna have a lot of issues okay so we're gonna roll this just spray some adhesive on here glue this edge up and that'll give us a finished look what we'll do on these corners We'll cut straight through here prior to because this is going to be excess material make those cuts you can do this on any thickness of foam most of the parts in the tractor cabs are, are one inch thick but this is a piece of two inch so you can do all sorts of different thicknesses and when you make this cut you also need to make certain that the material you remove if you want the whole edge covered is at least that we're just just shy of two inches here if you pull that up you can see we're just shy of meeting this edge right here so we're a little short on that edge but it's just demonstration so it is not that critical we we'll also have another cut here we're going to show you how to make and this is what we consider a V cut you can see the part has just a narrow wedge of foam missing and then we can put adhesive in here close that up and it'll give you a nice crisp corner this isn't a 90 degree corner but this is a representation of what we're trying to achieve here and what we're going to use is an angle 90 degree angle we've cut this double the width 
of our material. Like I said before, we're looking at two inches, so our cut's going to be just a little less than four inches. Okay, so we'll do the same thing we were doing prior to. We'll line up this angle so we make this cut, keeping this knife parallel to this surface so you maintain that angle all the way to the bottom of your cut. After you make about two or three passes, you've established your angle. You can go to the other side. Same thing here. Line up on your line. Hold that angle in place. Just takes a little bit of practice to get this technique down, but it's, it's not that difficult. You want to use, keep your knife uh, parallel to your surface instead of keeping it if you put it this angle, the foam has a tendency to wad up in front of you. So you want to lay the knife down so you get a, a longer stroke, flatter cut. See where we're at here. Well, we're getting pretty close. And I'm just following the angle that I've already established. Fold that up, make our V cut, make our V, when we, and then on this side what we'll do is our rolled edge, we want that V finished on this particular piece, and so we're going to hold this edge up, just nip it off, follow this edge with the scissor, and we'll go ahead and squirt a little adhesive on that using a piece of scrap here keep adhesive from getting all over my table you do end up need to have some overspray when you use this adhesive make sure you get it all the way to the edge got a little bit of foam scrap in there These cans work best if you hold them upright. Okay. Okay, that takes care of the adhesive spray. You feel it, make sure you got a pretty good tack on there. It's a little bit wet yet, and there's a spot right there I didn't get adhesive. Uh, you can go ahead and applicate some more adhesive on there if you want to or you can leave it on a v-cut such as this in the center it isn't going to make much difference because you're going to be held throughout the rest of the area but you do want to make sure you have good adhesion on these finished edges that you just fold over because if if they're not finished well that gives it opportunity for it to start coming loose and then peel off so as long as you keep that those edges stuck well. It's pretty important on these rolled edges, these folded over edges or finished edges. But the V cuts, it's not quite as critical because they're on the inside of the part. You don't see them. Just folding these edges all up. You can pinch these corners a little bit. There you go. Okay, we'll close that up. V folding up there. Got a little bit of a pucker there. Fix that. Just nip that off a little. There, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we've established we got a 90 degree corner. We got a finished edge on this side. Finished edge along here. And there's a nice square part. In case you would put it up and it would uh, match into an inside corner around a fender well or something like that so that's the way you do it it's not very complicated uh, some of these other companies might want to make it appear to be rocket science but it's not you can see a little bit of adhesive showing through right here if you happen to be using black you just use a black marker and you can cover up that adhesive and 
that line will completely disappear. So, but these uh, techniques pretty simple. Just uh, need to practice a few times. Do not start on your your finished part. One thing you do want to keep in mind: this part is 12 inches long, and if you want a finished edge on it and you want a 12 inch long part, you have to cut it 14 because you're removing two inches that you're going to fold around the edge. So, and uh, on this length, we got five inches there. 5 inches here, so we get 10 inches this way, plus 2 here, plus 2 here. So you have 14 inch total length this way, and then you'll end up with a 10 inch part. You also have to keep in mind that if you're going to put this in a cab, you have to consider that you're only going to cover a little over 3 inches on the inside, or 3 inches that direction, but you have actually have started out with a 5 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 14 inch piece and you're only going to cover like a 3 inch tube if it were in here. So you're going to have to add quite a bit of material for these rolled edges. Most of the time you won't be working with a 2 inch piece so you won't have to add that much but if you're working with a 1 inch piece you'll have to add an inch here for the rolled edge and, and an inch here for this length. You also lose double the thickness on your V cuts here. So keep all that in mind when you're fabricating your parts. It's best to, to make a smaller part or a piece, trial and error, make sure all your measurements are correct, then go ahead and cut out your bigger part and put it together. So a couple little simple tips.